Hello, this is a tutorial for uh, using uh, fungal traits databases in most effective and user-friendly uh, manner. So uh, just move to the uh, supplementary section and here you can see the first three supplementary table we are going to talk about. First uh, contains uh, information of uh, uh, traits of uh, fungal genera, second uh, information of uh, fungal sequences, and the third is, uh, contains information about uh, fungal species hypothesis. This is basically summarized uh, information from a sequence table, but we will get to this later. First, let's have a look on uh, uh, genera annotations. Uh, so when you click here, you can download Exosheet, which looks like this. It starts with the um, ta taxonomy and uh, reaches up to the uh, genus level and is followed by particular traits of particular um, uh, genera, corresponding genera. And uh, the traits uh, you can uh, have a uh, closer look on the traits that we used on the second sheet. A, there is a, altogether 13 traits and various uh, number of traits uh, states depending on uh, trait. So, uh, how to uh, rapidly assign this information to to your uh, blast results. Uh, so the easiest way is to use VLOOK, VLOOKUP function. For that you just paste the, um, your uh, blast uh, assignments and OTU you, uh, connected with your OTU identities uh, to the uh, first part of the table and copy the trait names and paste them on the end of the table, which I previously did to speed up the uh, example uh, process. Of course, you will find uh, we look up uh, tutorials online, but I will briefly introduce this function. So it contains uh, a lookup value, which is in your case is uh, uh, your results, your uh, genus identities, and uh, followed by table array, which is reference database uh, uh, general names, and the first uh, trait column. Then comes the column index number. You set it number two when you start. This refers that these are the values that function will be assigning to um, to the results. And range lookup, uh, you set it to false, then it will just look for the exact match in the table, the 100% uh, match. And you just uh, can now paste this uh, formula to till the end of the your data set and it will assign uh, the values that it will find from the uh, table. So in case of zero, there were no ma match. I mean, there were no data available. And here you can see there were uh, comments on genus and you see, OK, this genus has a synonym this name, uh, carrying this name. And if in case there were no match, data was no available, it gives you an A value. And uh, in this manner, you can uh, shift this um, formula uh, to, to get the next uh, uh, trait. But uh, keep in mind that you have to use dollar sign uh, to keep your, uh, your columns and reference uh, uh, columns with uh, general names fixed 
Uh, otherwise, uh, Excel will shift everything and you will get rubbish. And also, the column index number, you have to as well um, shift it uh, uh, one step higher to number three. Uh, because, as you see, uh, when you um, use this, now when you shift it, now you will uh, include uh, instead of two columns, three columns, and uh, we now want, we are interested in information from the third column, not from the second. And just continue this, keep this thing in mind, and you can easily uh, fill uh, all the traits uh, that are available for your uh, fungal um, uh, identities. Now let's uh, take a look at the second table I was telling you about traits of uh, sequences. Um, this table is much bigger. It uh, contains uh, nearly 700,000 uh, ITS sequences and, uh, and related traits and trait states. So when we started, we used uh, uh, GeneBank and, um, and Unite information, uh, pre-filled information and uh, try to organize this uh, in, uh, in, in the best uh, practical way, the information to make it uh, available in, in trait manner. So uh, we divided this uh, data sets between um, uh, more than 100 co-authors that all contributed to this work and um, uh, con converted all available and meaningful uh, uh, data to, to trait states. We particularly paid attention to DNA isolation source, uh, uh, guild, and um, also to the interactions, interacting taxon. So you can see there, were, there are many empty places, empty cells, because uh, just simply the uh, information is not available or non-relevant in, in, uh, in some cases. Like here, it's like uh, ericoid macarosa formation, it's only relevant for a very uh, narrow uh, taxa. Um, yes, and uh, this uh, interacting taxa is uh, uh, quite useful. You can, there is a lot of uh, uh, data available about these um, hosts. Interacting taxon means hosts, and uh, we try to be as precise as possible based on literature and available data from uh, gene banks. So, if possible, host is uh, determined on uh, species level, but uh, uh, always on the lowest possible taxonomical rank, sometimes on uh, uh, maybe uh, family or order or whatever was available, still still useful information. And co-occurring taxa, meaning that uh, uh, some taxa who are not necessarily host, uh, but are uh, important uh, com community shapers, some dominant species, uh, like dominant trees in the forest, when we have a soil sample and we can't uh, be certain that uh, uh, these are the hosts, but they are still co-occurring and uh, probably have an effect on the local microbial communities. Also, uh, we gathered uh, uh, geographical data like country and districts and counties and so on. And the most precise are the uh, latitude and longitude data, but um, they are uh, not. They were not always available. And in some cases, uh, we have uh, also uh, altitude data and uh, depth. If, if uh, in case of marine and and freshwater samples, you can. Uh, uh, connect particular sequence to the sequence ID and if you need to go to the particular paper 
you can use DOI here because these names were um, downloaded from uh, GeneBank and then they are not up to date uh, very often. These uh, are old names that were used during data submission and later uh, actually the paper carries some other names. So when you want to trace uh, the origin of these sequences, you can use sequence ID or uh, uh, DOI number. Now, uh, uh, so this information from the sequences uh, were combined uh, to get the uh, species hypothesis traits. So we combined only the data that were mathematically meaningful and possible. So let's say uh, calculated averages, uh, so to say. So when you go to see the species hypothesis table, uh, you will have a such view. So it starts with uh, species hypothesis code and then you see summarized info that uh, um, contains uh, all the sequences uh, that belong to the same uh, uh, species hypothesis, uh, probably corresponding to uh, one uh, on species level, like in this case, Alternaria, Ehornea, and um, uh, so you see here is the long list of uh, isolation sources of particular species hypothesis and they are followed by percentages. So this is less than 1% uh, marked as ectomycorrhiza and so on. Uh, so uh, sediment, freshwater. So this is very abundant uh, species hypothesis. It's global and uh, it has been found from uh, many uh, sources and this goes to the Carter source and uh, in the in the very end you can also see the uh, how many of these sources were unspecified so here it's quite high it's 86 percent of the uh, sequences contain information about the source but in many cases this uh, unspecified part can be very high so this uh, same uh, logic uh, goes for other uh, um, traits as well. So maybe when comparing with these uh, 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 appearances here, then you can uh, say something about the, uh, the lifestyle or, or the ecological niche of this um, particular species hypothesis. And again, I would like to point out the interacting taxa part where we now uh, have summarized on uh, based on genus level uh, the uh, occurrence of hosts so uh, also uh, with percentages so this uh, uh, this uh, particular species hypothesis have a, a long list of of uh, hosts or interacting taxa if you wish and uh, also the country um, information so if you have a, for your uh, data set uh, species uh, hypothesis uh, uh, codes available you can use also uh, uh, vlookup function to assign uh, this uh, information to your data set and in the end uh, I would like to point out that if you have uh, expert knowledge in uh, uh, particular uh, fungal taxa you are very welcome to uh, to improve the current knowledge current data set of of the traits so at this uh, at the end of the discussion you will find the link to the Google spreadsheet uh, that will uh, lead you uh, here uh, uh, to the fungal traits uh, table.
at this online but um, uh, the second spreadsheet is uh, free to uh, edit so it's not locked so if you find some mistakes or uh, you just have more information available to uh, update some of the traits of some of the taxa uh, you are welcome to do so but uh, please leave the comment uh, with your identity and uh, uh, the also um, what kind of change did you do and if possible reference to it so then it is easier for us to uh, evaluate the quality of the changes